tradition in country music that goes back to the 1920s, though these ladies aren't quite that old. <laughs> Would you welcome the fabulous Carter family? Helen, June, Anita, and Carleen, the Carter family on tonight's show. It's that time of year again, time to get out and mow the grass, weed the garden, or buy that new backyard grill. And what store has all your lawn garden needs? Walmart, of course. They're celebrating their 25th anniversary with quality at low prices every day. And don't forget to tell them you heard it right here on the Nashville Network. John, who wrote Ring of Fire? June Carter and Merle Kilgore. It wasn't called Ring of Fire at the beginning, or was it? L no, it was called uh, Love's Burning Ring. Right? No, it was called Love's Ring of Fire. It's was the it? same thing. It was the same you old. Were, you weren't going to talk tonight. <laughs> oh. Back, oh, back to you. I, I'm sorry She's about awake, it. ain't she? <laughs> John, did you, uh, uh, speaking of Ring, Ring of Fire, didn't you dream the yep. arrangement you had on your record? Yep. That's, you know... A lot of people might think that's really strange, but I did. I lived in California, and I'd heard Anita's record of Love's Ring of Fire. She did a kind of a folk version of it. But I kept hearing that song with trumpets, and I dreamed that I heard me singing it with trumpets playing. I called Jack Clement, woke him up, and told him what I wanted to do. I wanted to come to Nashville and record Ring of Fire, Love's Burning Ring of or Love's Ring of Fire. Excuse me. And... Uh, <laughs> to ask him if he would uh, get some trumpets, and he thought it was crazy at the time, uh, which was all right, because he is too. So uh, <laughs> we, uh, we came to Nashville, and we did it. And it was, uh, it's, it's a show that, it's a song that I opened a show with. It turned out pretty well, didn't it? Yeah, it what did. a dream. Mm. Now, it sure did turn out well. Hi, with. June. 
Yeah, I'm trying not to talk, No, I Ralph. just... Uh, now it's your turn. Hi, June. Hi, Ralph. How Hi. are you? Listen, I'm fine. Hello, Carlene. Hi there. You lost your British accent? Yeah, I've been hanging around with these girls a lot. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Anita. How are you, Anita? I'm okay. And hello, Helen. Hello, how are you? You still, you still play the squeeze box? Oh, I have... <laughs> I, I think, I'm not sure, but I think John's band lost it over a mountain one of them. I haven't played not that. Not me, Helen. I didn't no. They Somebody didn't. threw it off of a mountain in the middle of the night. <laughs> I got another one, but if I you, haven't played it in a while. If you remember all the early publicity shots of the Carter family with Mother Maybell, Helen was holding the big accordion. Yeah. Right. I, I played accordion until Mother quit playing the guitar and handed me the guitar in the middle of the show and said, you will play the Wildwood Flower tonight, and I hadn't played it in 20 years, but I tried, you know. No, she's just telling you that, Ralph. What really happened was she kept getting these pleats in her stomach, and they stayed oh, in yeah. her stomach even after we took the accordion off. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we had to, I forgot, John. I promised I wouldn't talk, and I did, didn't I? I like to watch you talk. <laughs> hey, Carly, you know what we were, we were talking about, Elvis Costello. What's his real name? Declan McManus. Declan McManus. Yeah. Okay. I'm just, I, that's a point <laughs> that we left turn. hanging earlier. I wanted to clear up. You girls still sing Foggy Mountaintop? Yeah. Anytime anybody asks you. Hand me, what is it, Gold Watch and Chain? We sing that one, too. What's in your new album? Did you do any old songs? Uh, we did several old ones. Uh, majority, uh, of old ones. Ma majority of old ones. We do have some new ones in there, though. What are some of the old tunes? Well, we did, uh, we did Worried Man Blues, uh, The Storms Are on the Ocean, which Anita wow. did. Uh, we did Dixie Darling, which is in there, The Wildwood Flower. The album's going to be called The Wildwood Flower, by the way. Hmm. Uh, on the Banks of the Ohio. Sing, are, you, are you singing The Wildwood Flower? We're singing, in, we're singing it, uh, a lot of verses. It has about 125. What's, the, what's that line about the myrtle? Uh, the myrtle's so bright with the emerald dew. Uh, the pale and the leader and eyes look like Ralph Emery. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the words are a little strange. They they're, are. They're old-timey words. That's the, they're old-timey, probably English, Irish, Scottish words. What all rammed into one verse. All right, let's take one tune out of the album. Let's take the Worried Man Blues. All right. Okay, here's the fabulous Carter family. <laughs> Anyone should 